all right guys for kage here and welcome back to the brand new video here we are solo leveling arise will be the topic so let we start uh with the leaks from the alpha leaker he is currently in the mountain <laughs> but he managed to leak it from his phone what a legend okay so we're gonna cover everything i just woke up i will go to sleep a little bit more it's like 5 a.m now I have three more hours roughly until the update uh, is live. Uh, so on this video, I wanna make a recap of the live stream from for the global solo leveling arise. I mean, global live stream, whatever you wanna call it. I wanna start with the code. So guys, uh, make sure to use this gift code as soon as possible. Yo, sharp uh, fam. I will put it in my description below and as a pinned comment. It lasts maybe like more, uh, not even one day if I'm not mistaken. So I, I cannot remember the time zones, but make sure to use this gift code as soon as you can enter the game. Yo, sharp fam. Okay. Uh, on this live stream, we also have furthermore gameplay of Yo. So I definitely will check it out. But before that, let me check out the leaks. Uh, so Alpha Leaker look what we have here let me start from this point gonna leak from my phone i'm on a mountain i i'm on a mountain right now so don't expect quality leaks until friday so seo beach skin uh this is for the summer festival i believe it's obvious uh and oh wait did we what oh did we got oh we got already this um if I'm not mistaken, that is today we should get the costume from sale. Okay, so beach costume, we already know about that part, right? Okay, now we have a little bit more skins and as well keep on watching because we have an, uh, a new uh, character. Okay, so just be patient here. Uh, we have here three type of costumes. So one is black, one is pay to win for sure, the middle one. And the first one is uh, like the main costume. Maybe they already will implant the change where we can change the color of the costumes. And maybe that's it. I'm not sure. But here it is, the heroic. This will be the pay to win costume. And I need to say it looks freaking amazing. Uh, that's the PNG, uh, the models. Look at this. Beautiful. Just beautiful. What else to say? We have as well Libora skin in Hunter Pass. Um, looking nice looking nice but i mean i will buy this battle pass like always hunter pass so i will get that skin <laughs> and i'm definitely taking this one uh okay and now look at this new character name anamia mirei type wind assassin assassin uh, uh summary sword man so she will be finally we're getting a wind uh character now go will be the next one she might appear after go based on the roadmap if we if i remember but i remember it correctly the next hunter ssr hunter new hunter after yo will be uh go okay and now she might drop after go so amamiya mirei wind assassin summary swordmanship using the power of spirits uses the power of Oni Kuroha to perform mysterious, mysterious swordmanship, will do anything to uphold her own sense of justice, will appear in lobby probably after downtime. Holy! Is it possible? I'm confused now a little bit, because if I go into developer notice, one second, if I go on a roadmap, if I go here, uh this is the part we are getting now so new hunter yo weapon uh ssr of phoenix bow weapon new shadow original cerberus yeah yeah so then we got go for sure oh i see it says here new hunter and weapon and then it says go i see so i was wrong here Actually, she will be the new character, and then after that, the go will happen. 
Uh, like that's the most logical conclusion I can make for now. Everything is still subject to change. Let's wait until official news. But by the looks of it, she's actually the next uh, SSR character after Yo and then a go will appear again correction uh, a little bit correction related to this uh statement but it, it's it's okay i'm gonna take this like we need a win typing we need a win typing and she's super interesting character i just want to see one thing is she like uh yeah yeah she's netmore balls original character right yes just double checking because sometimes i miss those things so confirm that but she will be the next character since uh, he uh, alpha leaker said will appear in lobby probably after downtime downtime that's confirms it lobby appearance is always confirmation of that new character dropping next okay have that in mind and then after that we're gonna have go uh okay so just for the people who are interested in that again the code is yo sharp fam and here we already saw that part from the korean live stream if you if you watch my video let me just increase the volume here mm. okay he's gonna do uh our usual hunter preview with you hunter preview right let's see here from this live stream we can actually see um let's get straight into it the First skills off, actual description of skills so that's pretty nice that's pretty nice let's, let's see wait for the chat um some people are saying hello prism hello hello everybody let's check on yeah like i said fight at a distance so when she uses her qt skill grants the spotlight effect to herself for a certain period of time increasing her damage in Increasing her damage in proportion to her delf uh, defense penet yeah. I, I don't know what did I said here, but to her defense penetration stat. We are alive. And her damage increases even more when attacking a target over a certain distance. When she uses her QT or ultimate, Yo so Hyun assist in battle. Man, why didn't you scroll a little bit down? Okay, so she will work around defense penetration. That's interesting. Uh, makes sense, but super interesting. And as well, based on the distance, she will be doing different damages. As far as I could c conclude. As well, using QT and ultimate damage will Skills give here. some kind of buffs, Showing which I'm not sure now from this. Promotional video, but just wanted to give you some live gameplay. So this is her basic combo. And I'll start Basic combo, okay. Her passive talked about her passive ability. So you can use a core attack by filling up core guides using basic attacks and skills. Like I already said, she will work around core attack. QTE called Firing Storm. It grants the spotlight effect, so that'll be huge for you. Oh, QTE spotlight effect. Um, the spotlight effect increases the damage increased at equal to 100% of Yusu Hun's defense penetration stat. So yeah. So pretty much more defen defensive penetration. You will you will want to get those stats. Uh, her damage will go up insane. But scales off defense penetration. It also increases damage dealt to targets further than five meters by thirty percent for. 20 okay, okay, okay. Further than five meters, then it does. Bigger damage, thirty percent. Interesting. Okay, thank you, bro. CM Prize. Well done. And later on, we did get some feedback from last live stream that you guys want to see some more depth. So we're gonna make sure we try to give it to you. Um, so we go, we'll be going through some advancements later on. And there we go. Oh, no, I think I messed that up. There we go. And that was the last core attack. Cool. All right, so let's go into her basic skill number one. Okay, you can. Su Hyun somersaults backwards and fires a large caliber bullet, dealing fire damage based on attack, granting spotlight effect, and stunning the target. There we go. Oh, we have even the stun in the mix. Cool. When using basic skill 2, the user hits in place and quickly fires two consecutive draw rounds. The user then gathers energy and tag the enemy by firing an additional round. Her second ability is called Kill Shot. 
and Su Hyun rotates her firearm, sits in place, and fires a beam twice at high speed. Then she gathers magical energy to release another powerful beam. Okay, so we have two beams and then one big one. Boof. See it? Oh yeah, she will Very be. Satisfying. I love mages that use guns. Uh, okay, then I want her. I want her and she'll be amazing. When the user uses their ultimate skill, magic firearms are deployed around the user to attack enemies all at once. After magic firearms appear around Yo and automatically identify and attack nearby enemies for a certain period of time. Ah! You know, you would think mages just only use staffs and stuff, but when they have the gun in there, perfect. It's a good combo, yeah. Yeah, it's wonderful. Alrighty. So now we go ultimate. Let's see it a little bit one more time. Zero burst. Beautiful. So her ultimate is called Zeroed In Blast. Su Hyun deploys magic firearms around her, gathering magical energy and releasing it all at once. Deals tons of fire damage based on her, on her attack as well. And when used the skill, it creates magic firearms. Okay, so defense penetration attack. Around her for six seconds that deal ten percent of your attack. So this uh, build doesn't. So she will be doing a lot of freaking damage. Have that effect working at the time, but that's okay. You guys will see it. Ooh. For sure. Okay, as well. And when used the skill, it creates magic firearms around her for six seconds that deal ten percent of your attack. So this uh, build does not have that. Ooh, look at this. Time, but that's okay. Oh, we'll bro. This was beautiful. And then we have her QTE skill, which is called Firing Swarm. This deals damage and creates magic firearms around her. Her support skill is called Pulse Fire, and this deals damage and grants Sung Jin Woo the spotlight effect. And of course, oh, as a support, he will get that spotlight effect. Increases the damage. Uh, increase. And the stat equal to 100% of Sun Jun Wu's defense penetration stat. And it also increases damage dealt to targets. Okay. As a support, I believe you heard it. As a support, she will be uh, increasing damage, bro. And that's, pre that's pretty broken. And just like that one little trick because of the spotlight effect. Sunk, when you build him with defense penetration as well, he will scale the damage. It'll be hard to get those right stats, but bro, this is super interesting. And she will b b increase that damage dealt. Broken. I need to say broken. I need to say broken. Further than 5 uh, meters by 30% for 20 seconds. Awesome. Thank you so much, system. Yeah, since I those, do. in the spotlight, since we won't be seeing uh, those abilities, we thought... Ah, here it is, the spotlight. Not, not prism. System will share that to you. It's kind of nice how it, I didn't... Kind of like prism, system... It kind of rhymes. We have some synergy there for sure. Synergy. Yeah, we'll be saying spotlight a lot because it's a big feature of UC Hyun. But so this one will take a little bit of time. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about her lore. Nope. Carl, actually, I have a question for you, uh, system. What's that? And for the chat, I think I think both of you guys I think can answer this. So if you have the opportunity to meet the most powerful person in the world, okay, I will just skip this part. Here, I, we did to read her passive earlier, so that talks about the spotlight. But her okay, let's see the dupes. Is, uh, Resets the cooldown when kill shot hits a target outside of one meter range. Oh, the cooldown. Oh, the cooldown. Reset of cooldown with first freaking copy. Uh, when kill shot hits, activates the user's score attack and increases score attack damage. Uh, okay, just like we don't have the right percentages here, but bro, I, I said. She'll work around core attack, she does that as well. We're gonna see precisely from what type of artifact she's gonna benefit, but definitely the substats and the stats will be attack, defense penetration especially, because she scales a lot from the spotlight. Um, and as well, probably critical hit rate, critical hit damage, all of those stats you wanna get. Now we're gonna see, will she benefit more from the toughness set? Uh, will she benefit more she's, she's, since she's a breaker? We can go with the greed set as well. Combination, curse, definitely we need to try. And as well, we have that red armor artifact, dragon, whatever it's called. Uh, because of that core attack damage increase might be helpful as well. We're gonna see. So I'll just read it for you guys right now. Uh, okay, so second copy. The user's defense penetration increased by 10%. Super useful. 3 star when firing swarm hits outside of 1 meter range, grants the defense penetration effect and increases the damage of uh, kill shot by certain percentage. Attack increase, 
increases the user defense penetration by 18 percent yeah she's gonna scale so much from this pen uh, defense penetration especially uh, as you gonna have more copies uh yeah i want to max her out i have a good feeling about her four star increase the user's attack by 10 percent so yeah attack defense penetration and then we have the five star when the spotlight effect is applied it increases the user damage uh bro i am going for her i'm going for her we have as well here the phoenix uh, i already talked about this weapon 55 times <laughs> and we already saw the gameplay a million times shout, shout out to zav by the way he's right here um and yeah the new login bonus right so we have many things during this update uh i am certain at least it was confirmed by alpha leaker we are not gonna get the job change now so currently we're gonna get her we might get the new gears maybe uh but soon we're gonna get all of this craziness as well for the summer event and everything else so no worries that's it from today's video so new code new leaks and of course detail analysis of yo which i will do even more uh, in upcoming videos uh that's it lavia my first impression is i absolutely love her and <laughs> you have more details on my previous videos so you can also check it out about intros and all of that okay bye guys love ya